Hi and welcome back to the Foodie Files. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made my sweet and savory crostinis. These are such a crowd pleaser and they're so great for when you're entertaining or having a cocktail party. Enjoy! So first off I'm going to prepare my baguette. I'm going to slice it and then I'm going to toast it on the stove. You can also toast it in the oven if you'd like. To toast on the stove, I'm just going to put my crostinis in an oiled pan. I'm using a cast iron skillet here and then I'm just going to put some olive oil on the top side and then after a while I'm just going to turn them over and then you'll see they're nice and toasted. The first savory crostini is my tomato and pesto crostini with balsamic reduction. I'm making the balsamic reduction by combining balsamic vinegar and sugar and just boiling it down and literally reducing the liquid until it's nice and thick. Then going over to my chopping board, I'm going to slice my tomatoes. I like to use multicolored tomatoes because I just think they lend a really pretty um, look to the crostini. So here I'm using green, orange, yellow and red tomatoes. Then I'm going to season my tomatoes with some salt and black pepper and then just a drizzle of olive oil as well. Then you're just going to mix that to combine well and then it's time to assemble the crostini. So first off, I'm going to spread some pesto. You can use any pesto that you like. I'm using store-bought here, but you can use homemade. Um, just any good quality pesto will work here. So just spread that generously on the crostini and then layer the tomatoes on top of the pesto. And once you're done, you're just going to garnish with some basil leaves and there we go a nice pretty crostini and just before you serve you can drizzle your balsamic reduction always best to do this before you serve so that it doesn't make the bread all soggy the second savory crostini is my smoked trout and cream cheese crostini first i'm just going to chop some dill i'm using fresh dill here so just chop 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 finely and then I'm going to mix that in with my cream cheese. Season with some salt and some black pepper. And then it's time to assemble. You're just going to start by spreading that cream cheese, that herby, beautiful cream cheese on top of your baguette and then just layer ribbons of smoked trout on top and then to garnish just some dill and there we go a wonderful smoked trout crostini next up is my avocado crostini you're just going to start by slicing and then peeling an evo i literally used half an evo here so just slice it thinly And once you're done, you're going to take half of the evo and you're going to arrange it into a nice flower. You can really arrange this how you like, but I think it makes it just look so pretty when you arrange the evo into a flower. Yeah, I'm basically just rolling the slices of evo around each other and just wrapping them around one another until it looks like a flower and then I'm just going to lift that off and place it on my baguette looks really pretty once it's done and then just season with some salt and some black pepper and there we go it really looks great on a plate you can arrange the evos differently as well. This is the second half of the evo. 
Over to the sweet side, these sweet crostinis are so amazing. The first one that I'm going to show you guys is the berry and honey crostini. First off, I'm going to take some blueberries and some raspberries in a pot, add some sugar and some lemon juice, and then just boil that down, basically make a berry compote. And then to assemble, you're just going to layer the berry compote on top of the baguette and top off with some raspberries and some blueberries and some sliced almonds and then just drizzle some honey on top and you're all done. Really, really quick but so yummy and it looks really pretty on a plate as well. The second sweet crostini is my strawberry and Nutella crostini. Just start off by slicing some fresh strawberries. Love, love strawberries. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spread some Nutella on top of your baguette. Or you can use any chocolate spread that you like. And then you're going to arrange your sliced strawberries on top of the chocolate spread. And then garnish with some mint leaves. You can also drizzle some Nutella on top of the strawberries as well if you'd like. And there we go. Nice, quick, simple, but so delicious. For the final crostini, we're going to make candied bacon by spreading some honey and sprinkling some sugar on top of some bacon and then bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to cook our apples by combining some apples and with nutmeg and cinnamon, some lemon juice and some sugar and then just cook it down until the apples are nice and soft. To assemble, you start off by spreading some apple sauce and some cream cheese on the baguette. Then on top of that, you're going to layer the cooked apples and then top that off with the candied bacon. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.